A 40 year old child sex abuse case in South Carolina resulting in the arrest of a youth pastor in Elmore, Alabama. But that's not the only Alabama connection. The suspect is also accused of sexually abusing a child while living in Baldwin County in 1974. The alleged victim reached out to Robertsdale Police last October. Yeah, two other victims were identified living in South Carolina and investigators there are now pursuing charges. But there will be no charges filed in Baldwin County. Our Baldwin County reporter, how Sherrick spoke to Robertsdale police to find out why. Investigators believe 63 year old Peter William Cooper sexually abused at least three young girls in Baldwin County and two South Carolina counties between 1974 and 1976. Investigators caught up with Cooper last week in Elmore County, Alabama, and was extradited back to Spartanburg, South Carolina to face charges there on one of those cases. It all began with the first alleged victim contacting Robertsdale police. Once we had this case put together, we consulted with the Baldwin County District Attorney's Office and they researched it and unfortunately found that uh, we could not prosecute this case because of the laws being different and being a statute of limitations at that time. South Carolina had no statute of limitations law in effect in 1976 when the alleged assault happened there. Police say Cooper was a youth intern pastor at a church there and the offense happened at the victim's home during a Bible study. Investigators say Cooper admitted he apologized to the women after they found and confronted him through social media, but that he couldn't remember all the details of the encounters. Robertsdale police say Cooper was living here in 1974 and was volunteering as a youth minister at a local church. In this case, investigators say the alleged assault was not associated with the church or through his volunteer work there. Investigators say it's rare in case this old finds resolution and commend the victim for coming forward more than four decades later. Once she found and once she decided she had the courage to come forward and she started looking into social media events and found that he was still involved in activities around children, it became very important for her to make sure that she protected anyone else from becoming a victim. Investigators are hoping that if there are any more alleged victims of Peter Cooper, they will now come forward. Cooper faces a charge of lewd act against a minor in South Carolina because that was the applicable law in 1976 there. Now, in Alabama, the laws have since changed. Now, there's no longer a statute of limitations applied to sex crimes here. Reporting live in Robertsdale, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.